What's up guys, uh, this is Blue here from the Once Epic channel. Doing something a bit different today. Uh, we're starting off with basically doing a commentary about my journey from all the trials from the first one, Normalium Z, all the way up to, I guess, Dragonium or Ferium, one of those ones anyways, right at the end. Basically, I'm just going to watch through my content here um, and essentially, I have chosen all the bits and pieces that sort of mattered. Short version of my 25 episode live stream journey that I had from November all the way up to February actually. I think I've just recently finished the Elite Four. This is the gym part of it. I'm going to call it gyms. I know it's trials, but I'll always refer to it as gyms. But um, I guess let's, let's get this started. Let's really check it out. Okay, so this is me, I think essentially this is me, yeah, he's waving at me, Professor Kakui. Yeah, I guess you gotta do it. This is where I start on my journey, really getting the Rotom decks. I love the do it, just do it thing. It's, it's, every time I see it with the, the voiceover cracks me up. Rotom decks, first time actually experiencing that. I don't really understand Rotom deck too much. Uh, Rotom decks too much. Of course I chose Poplio, right? And fighting against a Slowpoke, I am asleep. I, I don't even remember this to be honest. Obviously, I'm going to catch a Slowpoke. Slowpoke is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I say that about all the water Pokemon, really. <laughs> Caterpie, yeah. Caterpie, one of my favorite Bug-type Pokemon. I'm pretty sure there's some parts where I obtain most of my gameplay walkthrough Pokemon. Which is pretty much everything that's been given to me. Uh, if, if you guys have ever seen out my stream, the overlay has five of the Pokemon, which I haven't caught myself. I've been lucky enough to receive them from fellow viewers, which is great. Caterpie, Metapod. Love it. Uh, Festival Plaza? What am I doing up in here? Oh, this is the bit where I think I'm going to get my Rowlet. Yeah, I got it from Double Doge, aka v Guide, right up in there. Uh, someone, Jaden Cafe King, was it? always calls J uh, Jessica Moreboy. This is where I get my Rowlet. I think I'm pretty much getting my Rowlet soon. Yeah, this is where I get my Rowlet. So I've caught a young goose and uh, <laughs> I've traded away for a lucky chance at having a Rowlet first. I'm not too far in the game, I don't think. I don't think I, I probably just level 10 and above. Maybe, maybe. Lucky enough to get a Rowlet. Look at that, legit. And this is where I, I don't even know what I'm. Oh yeah, Seagull. Wingo, Wingo, Seagull. This is where I get my Litten from Dragon Power King. Thanks again, uh, Double Doge and DK. You guys have always treated me very well. AKA Double Doge, the, the moderator as well. Oh, this is my first trial. Grand. No, it's not a grand trial. It's, uh, it's just a basic Normalium Z trial. The first trial ever. My first experiencing also seeing Raditzer with a mustache. Uh, I don't know. For some reason, I'm stereotyping Raditzer up there and I think he's going to bring up like spaghetti or something. <laughs> what was that? This is uh, Lima. Lima beans. Actually, Ilima, if most people say it. He looks like he's stoned, honestly. Look at his eyes. He's just water crested out. Just, just glazed. This guy's just absolutely glazed. <laughs> it looks like he's got crystals for eyes. Oh, okay. I must have evolved my popular at this point, Brion. And then I think this is probably my semi more experience. Really look at the. Yeah, I think I clipped this part because I wanted to see them dance. I think I had this going for ages. I was talking to the people on the stream. This video. All the stuff that you guys are watching now in my commentary is basically stream content. All the stuff that I've done on Twitch. Yeah, I skip straight into the Raditz's butt. And boom. Raditz is friggin' huge. This guy is huge. Look at him, man. He is huge. I don't know. He's got food in his mouth already. Alolan Raticate looks good, man. First time seeing them power up. Dragon Ball Z style. As if he's gonna go Super Saiyan Raticate 2. And my first instance of experiencing an SOS call for a friend situation. Yeah, Raticate wasn't too much to deal with. Pretty straightforward. I thought it'd be quite difficult. My mindset was thinking that was that a tail whip? Looks like he has stars coming out of his backside. If you guys know what I mean. Um, <laughs> it looks like. Yeah, my, my thought for a trial was more difficult than it would be as a gym battle. I don't know why, I just thought trials were going to be really... I just thought they'd be really difficult. I think this is the part where I uh, battled Wishy Washy for the first time. I really wanted to catch a Wishy Washy. Without a doubt, I really wanted to catch a Wishy Washy. 
And I was trying to figure out how it gets up to that whale form. I didn't really understand how that whale form came about. Uh, the slang bro. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, this is my Twitch feed. So if you guys follow on Twitch, if you haven't seen my stuff before, you'll get a randomized Pokemon coming on screen. I think it's called the whale form. I don't know what it's called. School form, maybe. Because this is a collection of fish. Yeah, this is, this is the big one. This is where he sucks in everything like a Snorlax. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of on a wrong angle there. I'm just chilling out of my seat here. And I just realized the camera's sort of like to the back. Yeah, this is the big one. I like the animation cutscenes in this. It seems like uh, most of the totem Pokemon have a different sort of cutscene. And this one is pretty cool. It pauses in there and everything. This Pokemon is one of the ones that I really do want to get shiny. And I've been informed, not now, but I've been informed in general that level 20 is the one that it gets into this form. So I brought out Alakazam as well. Alakazam, one of my... <laughs> oh, I forgot I, had this... I forgot I had this command. All this time, I actually forgot. It's been a long time since I've actually used the command. I always use the Dance Kid and Too Cool for School. Oh, I think they're the same thing. Too Cool for School, just do it. I gotta remember I got the heavy breathing one. I need to add in more commands on my stream, I gotta tell you that right now. I need to add in more commands. 70 bucks a pop, 70 shells a pop, guys. What am I doing here? What exactly am I doing here? I'm really taking my time fighting this guy, right? Hopefully this takes it out. I think this takes it out at this point. And it does. I do like this part too, when you actually see what the crystal looks like. It reminds me of Final Fantasy, I don't know why. I mean, Final Fantasy based a lot, uh, based, bases a lot of the games on crystals and elements and all those kind of things. Okay, what's, what's the next scene that I have? Still talking to this guy, okay. Oh, yeah, I think I kept, <laughs> I kept this part because it looked really lame. At this point, I think I figured out that- uh, and oh, the fishing rod, that's why I kept it, yeah. And the dancers. At this point, I, I think maybe I've just started to figure out that if you use a Z-Crystal for any of your Pokemon, regardless of what it is, your character, your in-game character will eventually do a dance of some sort, some really stupid looking dance. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I, I clipped a bit of this one, the Fire MZ. Firium, Fire M, I don't know. A little uh, mix and match guessing game, which one's the odd one out sort of thing. And then this is Hiker Dude coming up. Kiawe. Kiawe is the main guy. A lot of Marowaks. I do like the Alolan Marowak, I gotta tell you that. Alolan Marowak is really cool looking. It looks pretty much the same, but it looks much more tribal. It has a very tribal look to it. The, the flames, the, the semi-blue, blue flames on the bone uh, stick that he's using, it looks pretty cool. This doesn't really feel like a trial. A lot of people up to the... Yeah, there he is. <laughs> there's that random hiker guy. I don't really understand why there's a hiker guy there. It doesn't make sense. And I think I have to battle him. He's this random friend that flats with him or something that can't afford to live outside and lives on the top of a fucking... I don't know. <laughs> That's what it is, he's like... <laughs> Magmar. Magmar is always gonna be cool. I was thinking, I was actually hoping they would have an Alolan version Magmar. <laughs> Look at him. He's, uh, he's related to Brock. He's related to Brock. Okay, what's the next scene? Okay. Oh yeah, I'm trying to get all the trial completion animations of the Z-Crystals. Salazar actually looks very large. Salazar looks extremely large compared, compared to Brion. And there's a Salandit. White Salandit is the shiny version. Apparently that's what it is. A white salandit is what it looks like if it's shiny. I can't. I think only females can evolve to Salazzle? Or am I thinking of a different Pokemon? But yeah, I remember seeing a streamer where they... Under 100. I think it was under 100 that they got a female one. A female salandit. Shiny. A shiny female salandit. Under 100. I, I can't remember. Well, I think it was random 10s. If you guys haven't checked out Random Tens on the YouTube side of things, give him a check because uh, he's doing a lot of shiny hunts at the moment. He's uh, he's quite well known, 100,000 or more followers, so he's, that's pretty legit. And there's the Fury MZ. I feel like a Power Ranger just looking at that. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Oh yeah, the Grassy MZ. Is that how you pronounce it? Grassium, Grassium, Grassium. 
I remember cutting out quite a lot of this one. It's essentially me finding ingredients, riding on top of a Pokemon, sniffing out ingredients. So I just got to the main part, I just wanted to show the battle. Uh, <laughs> I mean most of you guys have played this game already. I'm just showing you my experiencing and what kind of Pokemon that I had when I battled the trials. That's all I wanted to show. Just my journey up to the main point. Because these trials are pretty much the progression of the game. Because they do a bit of the, the main storyline, they progress a little, they show cutscenes. And they show totem Pokemon, powered up totem Pokemon. I don't know what she's doing. She's oh there, she's blinked her eyes. Why am I looking at her belly? Hey, what is that on her on her uh, pants? Is that a badge? Okay, this is where I fight that pants praying mantis Pokemon. That is a huge Pokemon. I gotta tell you, man. These totem Pokemon. Okay, it's not as big now, but I do like the pants though. Very uh, very seventies chic. <laughs> Why is it wearing pants? Please explain that to me. <laughs> What's the LA Pokemon? What, what are they called? Lilligant? Oh yeah. I remember seeing cast form and I was super surprised that it called a cast form. I don't understand why. That's that's something that I don't understand. Why cast form? Cast form. It looks like a it looks like Dragon Balls. <laughs> Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, is this 7 or 8? I'm just trying to count the bubbles. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Not 7. Not 7 Dragon Balls. More like 8. Maybe it doesn't count the face. Just the 7. Wait, is this 7 Dragon Balls? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Is this 7 Dragon Balls? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, what's next? Totem Pokemon Battle Down. Kind of picnic party over. So this is basically here the grass team one, I guess. Another one. Is it grass team? Is it grass team? I don't know. Whatever it is, my fingers are glowing. Oh yes, this is the electric one. That little kid. This is one of the bug Pokemon that I do like. I mean, this Caterpie and things like that. Charger Bug is definitely cool. Though, I gotta admit. I mean, it's a bus. It's electrical. It's a bug. I think I just skipped straight to Vicafault because everybody's seen the other ones there, so... And here we have Vicafault. It kind of reminds me of a... Of a, a few guys have ever seen um, Beetleborgs TV show, kids show back in the day? Yeah, well that's Beetleborgs. It's very cool, it looks like a anime robot character also. I do like the, the shapes, the, the preciseness of how it looks. And finally, I think I've got it down. Sweet. Oh. Another trial complete. Nice and easy. Glowing fist. What am I doing here? Oh, okay. Oh, this. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to record it. I mean, this game is awesome. I was like, what, what's going on here? I was actually kind of shocked. I thought it was glitched out. But um, it happened to reach my birthday at the time. Basically January 22nd. I was very touched to be honest, I was really touched, had the birthday music, it's just really nice peaceful and calm music, to, to, uh, I know it's an inbuilt sort of thing, but even to have this, just to show that on your day, on your birthday, something special happens in Pokemon, which is great. For those that haven't actually experienced it before, if it hits your birthday day, if you registered officially on your 3DS, this is gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, oh that's right, I'm taking photos. Bit of Pokemon Snap up in here. I do like the concept of this game. It has Pokemon Snap, so a Ghastly, there's a Haunter. It would be so much better that if you could catch Pokemon like this. I mean, wandering, wandering around and you see any of these ghost Pokemon, Gengar, Ghastly, Haunter, I was going to say Golem for some reason, but just popping around. And Mimikyu. If you actually noticed on the wall, it's all Pikachu related stuff. Pikachu here, Pikachu there, Pikachu again, Pikachu here. I was actually kind of creeped out a little bit. This is a female Pikachu? Yeah. I was actually pretty freaked out, but I had to say. And then I looked down and I was like, oh damn. That actually made me jump at that moment. Uh, I don't have the webcam shot there, but... I know it's, a, it's still a Pokemon, but it still creeps you out a little. Look at that. That actually really creeps you out. And it talked for some reason? I don't understand that part. You know, I've, I've, I've always wondered what is actually in there. I mean, obviously it's under disguise, but what... 
is the Pokemon underneath. Hopefully I might be able to do a uh, theory about it. I have a theory of what Pokemon is in there underneath the cloth. Uh, and that's probably another video that I'll bring out eventually. Ghostium. Looks like uh, Arbok in that one. The Ghostium one actually looks like Arbok is in the design of the crystal. Second to last trial this one. Alright, the little girl that's probably a thousand years old. Why are her eyebrows so so thick? Mudsdale just looks like it's wearing massive stockings. <laughs> I know in the Pokedex description it talks about it having lots of mud in there, that's why the kicks are so powerful. Trojan horse with uh, basically stockings. Look at this is one of the bits that I wanted to pause. Look at her face. She's looks like lag, but it's not, she's just <laughs> I can't even hold my eyes open for that long. Three lines in there. Grand Trial done. I know there's other Grand Trials in there, I didn't include it. I just included this one because this is the final one, so to speak. And then you get a Fairy MZ, want to include that for those that didn't get it. She actually looks like a Lepunny. At least some sort of Pokemon. This is one of the toughest battles, actually. I, I don't know, I, I need to, I want to know more about the story, who this girl is, why she gives me a Fairy MZ. Uh, I know that she says she's the captain, she's Mina, but I would like a bit of a backstory, you know, a bit of a bit of a backstory to make a little bit of sense, just to grasp my head around the situation. Why would anyone want to give a fairy name Z away? <laughs> oh, I'm going to sleep. And um, I guess that's that's pretty much it. That's all we have. So this is my journey. This is my journey from all the trials until the grand trial. I just wanted to showcase the normal trials up to the grand trial, the final one, because it's completion of the game. The next part is going to be my perspective on the Elite Four. So thanks for tuning in guys, you know who I am, I'll see you on the Twitch side of things. So uh, I'm Bluebit here from the Once Epic channel. Thanks for tuning in guys and I'll uh, see you guys next time on another video or on Twitch. <laughs> see ya.